change for this awesome EDC review. I had to change it up a little bit. Anyways, so today we are going to be talking about the Browse Blades Silent Soldier V2. Or yeah, Browse Blades Silent Soldier V2. And we are going to be doing a review on this sweet little tiny neck knife that is designed for EDC. As always guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so that you guys can see more awesome Alaskan content that is related to EDC and survival. Now, let's jump into this tiny little review. As we continue our spring list of reviews, we are going to be ch checking off the Browse Blade Silent Soldier V2. Now, this is a knife that I'm sure some of you guys are aware that I've had around here for a few months now, and I've actually really loved this knife and carried it quite a bit. Now, this knife, I have to say in all honesty, is slightly prejudiced in review because I wanted a Browse Blade Silent Soldier, <clears throat> just in general, not necessarily a V2 or a V1 in particular, but just a Silent Soldier in general. General, uh, for a long time because I always loved the ergonomics, the size, just how they worked. They were neat, they were quirky, but they seemed also very effective. And when I got this knife, all my suspicions were proven true, and I really love this knife. Now, some people aren't particular fans of browse blades themselves, and I can't vouch for the quality of all the different flippers and folders and stuff like that he makes, but the Silent Soldiers, the mainstay of Browse or Jason Browse's lineup, or kind of what launched his company, really, uh, as a whole, was this little knife, or rather the V1 version, but ultimately this knife here, uh, the Silent Soldier, and and I can see why. These are such little nice, kind of dog tag-esque knives. Uh, they have two finger holes. I believe the original ones only have one finger hole. But either way, uh, they're, they're really tiny knives. This is one of the smallest uh, knives I own. And it is a very tiny knife. You guys look here. I'll do a little bit of like a blade hand comparison. You guys can see there the blade in comparison to my hand is very tiny. It is very small. But also because of the way that the unique way that this knife was designed to have two different finger holes, it actually feels very comfortable in the hand because it allows you to get so much of your hand kind of wrapped and enveloped in that knife. And so it cuts very well and you have a very, very positive traction for this being a three finger knife as it has a very positive traction to it. So I really, really dig this knife and it's very nice. And I loved carrying it. It's, it's very nice and very compact to carry as you guys would probably well imagine. I'll throw this thing on my head here. I'll have to pop off the hat so you guys can see my ugly hair. But you guys can see there, it looks very nice on the neck and uh, it very, it's just a very easy carry. When you're done with it, just shove it back up in there and it's done. So very nice, very awesome carry. So to get over to what I don't like about this knife, because I pretty much just ranted about everything I like. I love the D2 blade on it. I love the grind on it. I love the way the tip is made and it cuts very well. Uh, I do have a few complaints about the knife though. And just to give a little bit of criticism to it, there's not really much. This honestly is a great knife for the most part. But the first thing is that I noticed almost immediately is a couple things with the actual blade. And that is first off, because this hole is cut on the grind, so this first hole here is cut on the grind, as I'm sure you guys can see right there, the grind area is at a very sharp 90. So do be careful with this because when you stick your finger in here, if it gets too close to these grind lines, it can actually kind of hurt because these are sharp 90 degree edges. Unlike these other edges that have been uh, kind of, they kind of have a chamfer on them. So they're nice and smooth. Uh, so the only other thing I have like complaint with this is because the hole is on the grind itself, you guys will notice when I roll in the cutting footage, when you have thick material and it's kind of running past the edge like this, it cannot go directly. So it can't go directly like this or else it'll run in your into your finger. So it kind of like hits and it gets hung up and kind of slides off to the side. So that is a noticeable issue that can happen when you're cutting through uh, thicker materials or not so much thicker, but just wider materials that go like that. So anyways, those are the two primary things I've noticed when cutting. And <clears throat> other than that, the actual knife itself is very well rounded. It's very comfortable. The jimping up here is actually very good. It's not too grippy and it's not too, uh, it's not too slick. So it's just really that perfect amount to lock your thumb right where you want it to be to kind of do, you know, most cuts. 
um, other things that I don't particularly like and Ashley brought this up is that the the only other thing I really don't like is that the retention on the Kydex, I wish it was a little bit better because sometimes if you're running, this thing can fall out of its sheath. So just bear that in mind. So other than that, I really do like it. And honestly, the only thing that I've really replaced it with is this little 50, or this is a 4050 by First Edge. And this is a nice little blade too. And they're actually a lot alike. This one's just a little bit bigger. So you guys can see there, if I can get my hand out of that hole, I actually really like the 4050 by First Edge. But that's what I've been rocking here real late. <laughs> and, uh, this one does have a little bit larger footprint as you can see but it is a little bit better for being a fighting knife as opposed to this little guy here so anyways guys that is really the basics to the Rouse Blade Silent Soldier V2. I really like this knife. It's a sweet little thing. I love the way it looks. Really everything about it, especially when I want to go minimalistic EDC carry. This makes an excellent tool for that. And it's, of course, very sharp. And it has a nice wide grind on it so that it definitely does not have a whole lot of material behind the edge. And that D2 definitely holds its edge for a while. Anyways, guys, that's basically all I have to say about the Browse Blade Silent Soldier V2. As always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.